the jungle. The first thing you need to know about this contest is, and make no doubt about it, this is considered a contest by all 12 people who entered it and the five. Make that four remaining contestants is that we are taking it seriously as a contest. The thing to realise about this contest is that there's a lot we're not allowed to tell you about. We are not allowed to basically kiss and tell. It's a bit like Strictly Come Dancing. They're not allowed to have a little smooch and then go and tell anyone about it. People might find out, but you don't talk about it. Well, it's the same with us. There's lots of things we can't really talk about. We might talk about, for example, a bowel movement, but we're not allowed to show you where we do it because they don't want you to know that we actually use portaloos. We have to use portaloos because the BBC are really tight on their health and safety regulations and so that's what we use, these great big beautiful blue portaloos in the middle of the jungle. But you are not allowed to know that. We can't tell you. Well, I particularly am not allowed to tell you about late night naked romps in the sun-kissed pool or wonderful romantic candlelit dinners with somebody who was in the jungle but wasn't actually a camp mite. I'm not allowed to tell you why I disappeared for four weeks. Everyone just said, oh, he was on walkabouts. Oh. The jungle is not all that it seems. It can play mind games with you. One moment you are asleep and cosy and the next you're being thrust out into the open to build some sort of raft to paddle furiously upstream to bring supplies which you then paddle furiously upstream again to get back to base. Bases upstream, down and up it seems. And we're navigating our way around this river system that none of us have ever been to be been to before, but somehow we mind mindfully know how to navigate waters. How do you figure the jungle plays with your head? Here's another thing. All of us took extreme proper due responsibility for COVID. Everybody was double jabbed. Some of them even got booster jabs before booster jabs were even a thing. None of us took any anti-malaria pills. And yet the jungle, we are told, was ravaged with mosquitoes. The rabid, absolutely rabid, ravishing mosquitoes. Not one of us ever got bit. Does this face look like it's been in the jungle? Mm. None of us ever had problems with dodgy tummy, dodgy bottom or any skin complaints. Have you ever known anyone who spent a long time in the jungle who's never had those? Hmm, the jungle does funny things to your mind. I am allowed to speak about a luxury item that we were allowed to take in. All camp mates could bring one luxury item in. And I thought, oh, fantastic, that's what I'm going to talk to you about. And I talked to my camp mates and said, this is what I'm going to talk about. And I said, James, there is only one person who finds your stamp album, my luxury item, fascinating and amazing and incredible. And that's you. I was the only person who finds it interesting. And yet, I tell you what, when they all needed some glue for their little projects, they all came running to me. Stamps, 
they don't stick themselves you know the one really big thing I learned in the jungle was this the jungle can be a very lonely place doesn't matter if the jungle 